Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. 32-year-old Kern Michael Spear of Elk Grove facing multiple felony charges in a deadly hit-and-run crash. CHP says Spear ran a red light on Elsie Drive, striking a car and killing a 34-year-old woman. A four-year-old girl was also badly hurt. Charges include DUI, hit-and-run, and vehicular manslaughter. The Placer County CEO has been placed on paid leave. It comes after he stepped forward to say he was the driver who hit and killed Indercombe High School student Anthony Williams on March 19th in Rockland. Jane Christensen will serve as acting county executive. Ian Benjamin Rogers of Napa has admitted to plotting to firebomb the state Democratic Party's headquarters. The plea deal could lead to a seven to nine year prison sentence. He's the second person to plead guilty in the case. A fourth person has died following yesterday's van crash in Yellow County. Three others died, seven were hurt when their van flipped multiple times, then hit a tree on County Road 14. The cause is under investigation. UC Davis police have identified 19 year old Trisha Nicole Yese as the student hit and killed this week by a garbage truck. Police say Yese was on her bike when she was struck on Monday. A second case of monkeypox confirmed in Sacramento County. The patient was in close contact with the first patient. Both are isolating and the health department says they're still very low risk to the public. The families who lost relatives or homes in last year's Florida condominium tower collapse have reached a $1 billion settlement. The deal gives resolution to lawsuits that could have dragged on for years. The two fires that merged to create the largest wildfires in New Mexico history have both been traced to prescribed burns set by U.S. forest managers. Those fires destroyed at least 330 homes. Governor Gavin Newsom has signed a deal with New Zealand's Prime Minister agreeing to help fight climate change. It doesn't commit either government to specific policies, but outlines broad areas for cooperation. Pools are beginning to open in Sacramento. The new North Natomas Aquatics Complex is already open. Clooney Pool at McKinley Park will open Monday, and the city says all other pools will open in June. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.